previously on wrong sailing. We left Eastern Caribbean and sailed 412 nautical miles to Bonaire, which is out of the usual hurricane belt. We had rented a car to explore the island, and today we were going to drive around the south side. It's really a diverse paradise, and it's really set up to go diving, it's so easy, like they have uh, small uh, rocks on the roads uh, that are painted yellow where they've written the dive site. So it's super easy to spot. Out in the water they have yellow buoys to mark that specific dive site. Out here is a wreck you can dive on. And coming up is a salt pier where we dove uh, the last time we were here. The left we have oh look on the salt salt ponds. Yeah, salt is the biggest export on Bonaire. And what you see over there is 10,000 metric tons of salt. It looks pretty cool with these pink pools of really high salinity water. Uh, it's the seawater. It enters from on the east coast of the island and comes into these big flat areas. And then the water evaporates and leaves the salt. And once a year they empty um, these pools and dig up the salt. The colors on this island are incredible. Right now we're going south on the road. We have this intense turquoise blue and then a deep blue color out here to our right in the ocean and to our left are the super intense uh, pink color of the salt lakes. And then you have the super clear white beaches from the corals. It's very, very beautiful. It's very windy today. We're almost at the southernmost point on the island. And, uh, there are a lot of kite servers out here today. I guess they love the wind and the flat water because yeah. they have the protection here from land. On the southernmost tip stands the lighthouse, which we could see as we were arriving in Bonaire at night a few days ago. So we're at the southeastern point on the island now. This is where we sailed in. And the coast here is uh, pretty rough the reef being uh, exposed like this. The waves are really crashing here. Salt water spray. 
all of the rocks you see here are actually corals. It's amazing, look. to Lac Pai, which is uh, almost like a lagoon on the windward side and it's a windsurfer's paradise. There are only windsurfers allowed here. The shallow water and sandy bottom without reefs makes it a windsurfing paradise. Now we're on our way to the donkey sanctuary. We really want to show it for Tavera. And on the road here, is the Yeo cache that we found last time we were here. So somewhere in here is that the Yeo cache. Now we'll see if we can find the same one again and see if our little note is still in there. Uh, can't say that I recognize the place. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be somewhere in that direction. Let's see. 132 meters. Sixty meters. Ah. So three meters supposed to be. Somewhere around here. I oh, know. One meter. House, get about. This is the place. Familiar. <laughs> you think it looks familiar? I think we found it. Yeah, this looks like the place. And yeah, oh, I can see yeah. the box. The yeah. metal box. It looks different from last time. Yeah. It's more covered now. Definitely. There's good then. Hola. Whoa. <laughs> so now you have to look in the book and go five years back. Yeah. Oh, some tools. <laughs> look at this. This has survived very well, I have to say. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. We have to take a <laughs> photo and send to them. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have it. Maya. Ron Sailing. Johan and Malin yeah, from yeah, Malmö, yeah. Sweden. Uh, this year, cash is called uh, Welcome to Kunuku Land. And Kunuku means farm in Papiamento. They, it was left here. Uh, December 30th, two, 2001. Wow, that is a long time ago. It's over 20 years. It's over 20 years ago. Look, the shape is, the condition is great of the book. How cool is that? These barns. Nah. <laughs> All right, maybe we come back in another five years. If you saw this and you're going to Bonaire, it would be fun if you go and try to find this Yeo Cash Kunuku land, and then you have to take a photo and send to us. Ah, now I'm stuck. Ah, shit. 
we see the car, but there is like <laughs> no way out. Donkey Sanctuary was founded in 1993 by a Dutch couple and they take care of donkeys that have been injured, sick or orphaned. It's a non-profit organization and they rely completely on donations. The first meadow is a special care meadow for foals and their mothers if they are not orphans and for injured donkeys. The youngest one was only four weeks old. Orphan foals are being bottle fed until they can eat by themselves. If you would like to support the sanctuary, you can adopt one of the donkeys. Sanctuary is enormous, so the donkeys have plenty of space to roam around. There is even more donkeys this time than the last time we were here. 777 donkeys. The last time we were here, you could buy carrots, but they don't have that anymore because the price has gone up so much. So you can feed them with pellets now, but that wasn't possible from a normal car because they will scratch the car. And Okay, I need to close the door. Nu får du ta ut näsan. The food is coming! Look! The <laughs> oh, she has to oh, run! Yeah. <laughs> Fairy is sitting behind the wheel for the first time. <laughs> Should it be there? Yeah. Yeah, from the whole I rat. No, no, no. No, no, no. Papa. Is the papa from the whole? No. No. Hold on, you're the rat. We love to come here, and we think that the people working here are doing a great job. Yeah. Good. Wants to go to the pool. We're going to the pool in the afternoon. Uh, we will do one um, dive each. I think Yuan will go first. Bear and I will hang out on the beach and then we switch. 
and we're diving with Beyond the Corals, which we took our paddy certificates uh, the last time we were here. It'll be a lot of fun, so we are now on our way to the dive site. We've done the briefing and did all the gear set up. Det kul att bil. Diving in these waters are just amazing. I saw so many fish right away. It almost felt like swimming in a big aquarium. Now they're down diving. Vera and I are hanging out here. It's a beautiful spot. The dive site is called Tolo. They're down diving for about an hour, a bit less. And then they come up and we'll have some snacks and the other ones who are going for two dives today, they can rest their bodies. And then we'll go for the second dive, which I will join. Fish, turtle, squid, yeah. really beautiful. And lots of nice coral. Hey, Cheyenne. <laughs> so we've had some snacks right now and uh, now we're driving to the next dive site. start the dive from down here at the water. Uh, it will be a drift dive, so we're going to drift to the north where Johan and Vera will wait for us and both cars. So you're going to drive over there now. I'm going to wave here. Yep, I can. That's a lionfish, which is an invasive species here in the Caribbean. It was just as beautiful as we remembered it. 
And diving is so special since you have the time to stay underwater and really take in the whole environment. So Marlin is doing a drift dive in this direction. So it's about, I don't know, 500 meters in that direction where they jump in. And then they are going to end up here. And they will go down to around 18 meters on the way here. But most of the dive were around 10. It's uh, such a great experience diving. And I have really forgotten how cool it is. Uh, yeah, it was, it's four years since our last dive in Hawaii. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed the episode. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do it so you don't miss out on any future videos.